I am so glad that you're here for another video. I am going to review some scents from the Fragrance Dubois house. It is a luxury niche house and they have many collections and in the collections they have, they have sample packs, which I purchased two of their sample packs. These were the most requested from my subscribers. I mean, it's only been a couple, well, like a year since the request came, but <laughs> Here we are, better late than never. I'm so excited, okay. As you know, I live in Australia, so the shipping is a bit different. If you live in the UK, you can purchase their fragrances and you get free shipping if you spend a certain amount on their website. However, if you live in overseas countries like Australia, there's a specific link you have to follow on their website to be able to purchase. You select some of their discovery collections and samples. So you can get like a box of like the samples, like a sample pack, or you know, you might get like this little pouch with the fragrances. So what I had to do, I mean, it's been, I ordered these like, 1st of November 2020 that's when I sent them this email I had to email fragrance Dubois customer service I will link that email in the description for me to be able to request certain sample sets and for them to send them to me um, I have this email sent to them I said hello I would like to order and then I listed the sample sets I wanted and you know, I would like them shipped to Australia and they responded and said, okay, confirm this is your order. And they also sent me a PayPal link to pay for the samples. That's how I was able to purchase them. I could also like speak to them on WhatsApp, I, I believe, just to confirm my PayPal link and things like that. If you live in a country outside UK, you just need to check or try and see if you can check out and it, if it will ship to your address. If not, then you might have to do it in the way that I did it by emailing them and them sending you a PayPal link to purchase the sample sets or the perfumes. So the sample sets that I purchased were nature's treasures sample set and the shades passion sample set okay this is them of course they didn't come quite like this they came more like this and i have opened used them i mean i've had them for a year so <laughs> as you can see these are like two mil vials and like some of them i completely finished because some of them, the scent wasn't strong enough. I had to keep respraying and respraying so that I could smell it on myself. Some of them you could smell on yourself, but other people couldn't really smell it as good. And then others were like the opposite where I can't smell it on myself, but other people can smell me. So it was just weird. So we'll just have to go through each one of the scents that I have. On their website, Fragrance Dubois promises that they use only 100% pure, sustainable, and the highest quality of perfume oils from sustainable sources around the world. So that's what we should be expecting from their products, from their perfumes. The first one here I have is from Nature's Treasures sample set and it's Broom de Martin Parfum and it's supposed to be like a seductive, luxurious. I mean, they're all hand blended. Let's try this one. Wow. I feel like this perfume is a perfect, clean, luxurious scent for a male. This is so nice. Yeah, this is yacht vibes. It smells a little bit salty, but not really. Salty, a bit sweet, very clean, very fresh. I love this. This is really great. So if you're a male and you own Broom de Martin, let me know. Um, but yes, this gets 
A plus from me. Longevity, clean scents are always really hard to, to make to stay on. They tend to not stay on very well. But as it's drying down, there's a woody smell and it's so sexy. Like it's such a great male scent. Anyway, I, I envision like a man, an Aries man, okay? With his shirt like opened a little bit, like a white shirt, buttoned up like up to like here, like checkered pants and loafers, like not like suit, full on suit look no obviously everything is tailor-made but yeah and you know he's just clean clean like clean nicely shaved you know nice sleek hair you know just nice just ugh. yeah that's him our next perfume in this particular sample set is patchouli argent oh let's 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 try it i'm gonna run out of room okay Oh, this smells like an expensive hotel. Like, and then you open that wardrobe, the male side of the wardrobe. There's like the female side of the wardrobe and there's like the male side of the wardrobe and you're picturing like suits and white collared shirts and like some silk on the men's side and some like leather shoes and loafers, you know? And when you open that cupboard, uh-huh, that smell, like it smells like that. It's definitely like the person can wear this perfume, but it just reminds me of that aura that wardrobe smell i think it's just it smells like wood like a bit of like wet wood it smells like the inside of a very attractive sexy man's shoe expensive shoe so it has that new smell if you can envision what i'm saying okay this perfume smells like inside an expensive leather shoe it's brand new it smells like a brand new leather shoe but with a little bit of masculinity scent lingering like a man's shoe you know it smells like that like it's a scent that envelopes you i'm gonna gift these samples especially the ones that i think smell like men to the guys around me and hope that they buy these and wear them around me because I love this. The next scent is Santal Complet. Now this is a popular one. Everybody likes this one, I think, most people. And I'm gonna try it. I have already tried it, but because I've had these scents for so long, I just wanna refresh my first impressions of them. Obviously wear what you want, but if I'm not mistaken, this is a female scent. It smells like sugar and salt, like melted sugar. You know, in the pot, when you're melting sugar and sea salt, like both smells together. That's what it smells like to me. And it's it's a very soft scent now. It's softening. It's very rounded. So what you get is like that taste of toffee. Like a light taste of salted toffee lollies. Have you ever had toffee lollies but like salted? Let's say you make a whole like toffee thing, right? Then you sprinkle sea salt on top and you taste that. That's what Santal Complet smells like to me. I would like it if you guys try these scents, okay? So that you can come back and tell me whether you relate to my um, review or like initial you know spray or how i explain this sense like tell me if you envision the same thing if you're really getting what i'm saying okay because 
this is nice but don't you can't wear this when you're unshowered because that that toffee scent kind of smells a bit odorous <laughs> and then mixed with your bad body odor like you just make it smell bad but if you're clean and you're wearing this musky scent then it'll it'll do its work like okay this is pretty yes it's very interesting and it's close to the skin it's very rounded you know it just meshes well with yourself like I feel like these fragrance Dubois fragrances are more like luxury or wealthy people's everyday scents you know this would be like hmm, this is just how I smell all the time it kind of like anyway, I hope you get what I'm saying so that's Santal Complet it's nice it's like my wealthy aunt would wear this yeah there's a maturity in it as well and that saltiness there is kind of like you know like mature the next perfume i have here is cannabis blue this already sounds like a male perfume like wear what you want but Oh, yes, it is. Like, I've never smelled cannabis, so I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. It's like spraying perfume on a lemon. That's what, like, a male, like a masculine, um, musky scent on a lemon. And then you spray, you smell it together, and it smells like this. And then it dries down to, like, a woody so oh that's nice too this is a nighttime perfume for a man so like the juice looks a bit green so I'm guessing that's like the cannabis marijuana because it it does say it has it so um, a male did smell this and they said it does smell like marijuana a bit of marijuana so they I wouldn't know okay because your girl doesn't doesn't roll like that so siberian rose was nice too but i lost the sample i will find it and write about it in the description box so check the description box because i always have good information in there okay so i'm on to the shades of passion collection and i'll just talk about the scents that i have in front of me because the other samples are around somewhere let's get into it the next one is oud rose intense and look you guys i actually really enjoyed oud rose intense like it's such a pretty rose and i got compliments for this as well but i had to keep spraying and spraying you know so that i could smell it on myself other people said they could still smell it but i i couldn't smell it on myself and i want to enjoy the perfume too so yes that's that's it that's all i have left of it so now the challenge is, am I gonna buy the bottle? Next scent here is Oud Orange Intense and yes, definitely oranges. Hold on, let me get it out. Um, we're running out of room. I have to wait for it to dry down. Mm, it smells like oranges and licorice. Why do I like this more today than I did like a couple months ago? Maybe because I was playing around with too many scents at the same time, but this orange intense. Oh, if a man smelled like this. Yes, I know a woman can wear this and I think it is a female scent, but I mean, they're all unisex, but it's mainly marketed for females, I think, but this oh if my bedroom smelled like this in spring autumn that would be lovely you know and then i have these white white um windows and then i open my curtains and it just smells like oranges and licorice and like it's sexy but 
but very, very bright, if that makes sense. Oranges and licorice. So orange is like the skin and the inside of an orange. Not just, cause it's not too citrusy, it's not. It's very rounded. All of the blending in these perfumes is immaculate, okay? You're not trying to fight any alcohol and like choking, you know? It's great. Oh, that is nice. So, here I have Oud Vert Intense. And let's spray this one too. Now, now I have to resort to the fingers, you guys. I have no room on my arms. I'm smelling green, leaves, stem, tea. Not my cup of tea, but I can see this working on a man. It's not my favorite, but you know, if he walked by wearing this, I'd still be like, okay, okay. It smells like leaves and green tea, guys. So the last scent of today from Fragrance Du Bois is Oud Jaune Intense. Oh, okay, okay. It, it has some sickening qualities in there, actually. There's a plant in there, like a flower that might irritate me. If it's like really hot, I might feel sick. But anyway, let me just describe the scent, okay? You guys don't care about my personal feelings about it. It's, is it good or is it not? It's good. This is um, for a woman, I think. It has some leather accents in there. This reminds me of like Shalima vibes. Yeah, like the Shalima Eau de Parfum. You know how you felt when you first sprayed Chanel Number no. 5 or um, Coco Chanel? This would make you feel like that. This is like that classic vintage woman, woman smell. Like a woman woman, not, not girly, no, no, no childishness, no, okay? Personally, I wouldn't buy it. Maybe, maybe when I reach like my 50s, I could wear it. But it is lovely, I like it, it's one of the ones that I like, including Oud Rose and all the other male scents that I said were just... Okay, now, that's it for this video on Fragrance Du Bois. Now, my thoughts on the brand, on the house, the perfumes are super expensive. A regular Joe, like myself, is not going to purchase them. How do I say this? They smell like everyday scents for wealthy people. For me, I would purchase it, yes, and it'll be like a special occasion. There's no way I'll spend this much money and then be wearing that every day for errands. You know, yeah, I would like to live my life like that, but I'm just not at that level yet. I mean, do I think they're worth it? I think that, watch the video again and see the ones that I said, well, could stay on longer or do you, you smell it on yourself, but other people can't smell it on you. All the ones that I mentioned that are male scents are really great. They have great projection too. Okay, but the Oud Rose Intense, you'd still have to respray through the day. That is the sad part. Unless you wear it for like a dinner and you're good for like three, four hours. But if you want that punch, you know, that attention grabbing, you know, then you need to respray. That's all I'm gonna say about all of them. But they're great quality, they smell luxurious. Either one of them, you smell like money, like wealth, not rich, like wealth, like I bathe in this stuff. Go and try them. You can't lose anything from smelling them. So 
yeah let me know if you own any of these and what you think of them and let's get the conversation started in the comment section okay anyway thank you for watching i hope to see you in my next video and yes take care bye